Hi everyone, Bea here. Welcome back to our channel and welcome to WordPress Visual Course. And in this chapter, what we're going to do is create a layout, a page layout with Site Origin Page Builder. If you have missed any previous chapter, what you can do is open the description and find the links inside there. You'll find chapter one, two, and three. And if you don't want to miss any further chapters, then what you can do is subscribe to the channel so you will get notified whenever a chapter is out. Now we're inside our site's backend. And just as a reminder, um, the site that we're designing is for a 3D VFX producer. Uh, this person, this client has been so kind to let us show this work and in this course. So what we're going to sign is the layout of the films he has worked in. And I'm going to show you. This is the, the film, the template that what we're going to do right now. What we're going to do in this chapter is we're going to design the layout. The layout is everything that is between the header and the footer. Okay, so right now you see that I've added some colors and I've added a logo and in WordPress it will depend on the theme that you have installed. Uh, you have different options and you have navigation options and also logo options and basically everything you will find it here in Customize or I'm going to show you how to get to the back end here in appearance you go to customize and you'll see all the options you have again it depends on the template that you install okay so as I said what I'm going to do is exactly this that I'm trying to mark or highlight with my mouse so this is what we're going to create in page builder by site origin okay guys so let's go First thing we have to do is add a page, create a new page. So here in the back end, go to pages and click on add new. You can click it else here or up here. So what we're going to do is the first thing is we're going to add a title to this page. And in my case, in this case, the title of the page is the name of the film, which is Assassin's Creed. And you'll see how automatically a permalink, as you see right now, is created. You can edit this if you're not happy with it, but I'm going to leave it like this. So now we're going to our page builder tab. So click here, page builder. First thing is I'm going to add a row. And as you see here, this has two rows. And it's occupying this slideshow that we have here is occupying more than the 50% of the page. And this is less than the 50%. So it's not really even. I'm going to show you how to do that. So back to our page. We're going to, first thing we have to do is add a row. Let's add a row up here. And this is what we get. This is where we get the layout, the the percentage in a way. Um, um, here you can choose if you want just one one column which is 100% and here you can start increasing the number of columns. So we just need two for this and here we can set the ratio. I'm going to open this and as you see how it moves So it depends on how you want your layout. Then you, I'm going to select the golden, the golden ratio. And also here you can select if you want it from left to right or right to left. As you see, I want it from left to right. If you're happy with it, just click on insert. You are, there are obviously more options, but I'm just going to show you how to create this right now. So let's go to insert and we get the rows. As you see, these are both of the of the columns from the row. So now we're going to start adding the widgets. So first widget, I'm going to select the column. I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to add a slideshow. I'm going to open. I'm going to add a widget, sorry. And here we have all the widgets from the site origin bundle. And let's look for the slideshow. 
sorry, it's called Site Origin Slider. So just click on it, and there you go, here it is. If you want to place it here, you just can click and drag the widget from one column to another, or even one row to another. So let's edit this one over here. So I'm going to open and click on Edit. Right now, up here, here says Lighter Frames. So here's where we're going to add our frames. As you see here, there are some controls and there are some images. Okay, so I'm going to click on Add. And here, I'm going to display what we're going to choose down here is just the background image. I'm not going to choose the background color, just the background image. I'm just going to choose it from the media. I'm going to select the first image, just save this one over here and click on set media. And here I'm going to make sure I want the background image type to cover instead of tell. So just leave it like this. So I'm just going to hide this and what we're going to do is we can click here add to add a next the next frame the next image or you can duplicate this um what to choose or when to choose add or duplicate for example let's say that here you've made mm, many changes like you've added a background color or you've also added an external external url um you've done many many changes so then I would recommend you to click on duplicate but in this case as an example I've just added an image so I will be changing this every time even though yeah, I just duplicated so I'm just going to click for the first time I'm going to click on duplicate here I have the background image which is repeated I'm going to choose the next one same thing, I'm just following the same steps and I'm going to click Add. It's basically the same in my case. But if you have a duplicate button, it's pretty handy. I'm going to hide this and let's click on Add and this will be the last image, which is this one over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and here we can control the animation speed the timeout i'm gonna leave it like this because i think it's the pace is is pretty okay mm, navigation color and navigation style this are these arrows over here if you want to style them these are the default colors which suit pretty well my my design so i'm just going to leave it like that but just let you know that you have that so i'm going to sorry display it again and also the navigation size which is the size of the arrows okay you can also preview this sorry i'm, I'm my camera is covering it you can preview it here right here but actually if you want to preview i'm going to show you now how it will look better so i'm going to click here done to preview the site you can click on preview or publish it in my case i'm just going to publish it and then visit this link directly okay so i've just clicked published it has refreshed and now i'm just going to visit this link so you guys see how it looks okay so we just have half of our layout with the images here Okay, so I'm going, now I'm going to add this text over here. So, go back to Add Widget. Let's click on the column where we want to add the widget. And let me see if I find it here. It's called, yes, it's Site Origin Headline. I'm going to create um, a title with a divider. So it's like two titles with a divider. That's what you get with this widget, with this headline widget, headline widget by site origin. So same thing. Um, let's edit and type the text here. So I have a TXT file here prepared 
with the text and the title will be the name of the film I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to leave it in h1 um, let's select the color and I've added this color for the text I'm gonna scroll down a little bit no hover color right now applied because it won't link anywhere and um, you can choose the font so these are all the fonts that you can choose from but I'm going to ask my favorite which is Helvetica so I'm going to leave it like that and the font size um, I'm going to type let's say 50 for example and alignment left okay so I'm going to hide this headline and open the subheadline. The text in this case is his job position, which was line producer. I'm going to copy it and bring it here. Let's leave it in H3. It has the same, sorry, the same color as the title. Scroll down. No hover color either because it's not bringing you, not linking to any URL. I'm going to choose the font, which is the same. Helvetica alignment left and font size mm, let's say 30 for example okay I'm gonna hide this the headline going to open the divider and style it um, yes I'm gonna leave it solid let's leave the thickness to one alignment also everything is aligned to the left and the width, maybe let's bring it down to 250% or even less, 40%. And the color, I have some of my colors, my color palette for this side, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, I'm going to hide this and here we can order the elements if you want the divider on top or in between or even below them uh, I want it in between the, the headline and the and the sub headline now I'm gonna click on done and I'm going to update the page and we're going to preview this again to see how it looks so the page has been updated so now I'm gonna preview the site and as you see the size is pretty big so what we're going to do is i'm going to go back to the page builder to this widget over here click on edit and make some changes so about the size here in headline i think i'm just going to delete the size and i'll leave the default click on done the default font size so just going to update and preview it again and if it looks good I'm just going to move on and add the rest of the text now let's go back to our page to our published page and see how it looks and it's actually looking much better so I'm gonna leave it like this right now and go back here and add our next widget let's click on add widget and I'm going to look for site origin editor uh, right here it's a rich text text editor so click on it and as I haven't selected the column so it's placed directly to the first column but just click and drag it to the right column click on edit and I'm not going to add any title but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and I'm going to copy the text I'm going to modify it a little bit um, I've already typed this director sorry year and studio okay 
going to click on done and update it and the same thing let's check how it looks it's done refreshing so I'm going back to our published page and this is it remember to refresh it to view the changes as you see we've created a page layout really really fast with this page builder um, if you want to add more rows for example something some other content below this then you will need to add a second row click on insert and add the widgets from the widget bundle that you can find here if you need to design many pages which have the same layout like an example I'm going to design um, I think it's 12 pages that will have this same layout because um, all the films will have a slider and all the details from the film like the title the year the studio and some description so you have to do the same thing instead of creating a page and doing the layout again and again then I recommend you to install a plugin that clones post and pages so I'm gonna go back here in pages and show you here I have the name of Assassin's Creed which is the one the page that we have just created so if I bring my mouse on top of it I have some options like edit quick edit trash view and click to clone so if I click to clone it will clone exactly the same page with the layout same layout and you see its name Assassin's Creed 2 so you would just need to type another title and you get the layout so you just have to open and edit it and just change the picture change the frames and the information here and click on publish so that's how you will save tons of time more chapters are coming soon to learn how to build your wordpress site with a free visual builder so if you do not want to miss any chapter then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can also click on the bell icon so you will get notified whenever a chapter is out and again guys thank you for watching